everybody, welcome back to Grumpy Magic 2. So last time we've had yet even more bad luck with our team, but this time, hopefully this episode, that will change. Now, just off camera before I start this video, I had taken my drivers out to test our cars, just to see how well they would do. But anyway, we need to go to Silverstone for the next Grand Prix, but I'm going to see if I can nick any parts from any other team while just before we do the the Grand Prix. Alright, I've just broken into Brabham's factory. Now let's see if I can nick their gearbox. No. Okay. I see off no no don't really want to offer a deal. Suspension no we couldn't Right, okay. Let's see. Driver aids. Uh, we've got the advanced steering, but it's banned. Car externals. Got a lot of good stuff there. I guess I'm just going to have to offer a deal with for their gearbox. So they've got raised 37. They want our brake system. What's their brake system? 12%. Okay. I guess we'll just have to do it for their brake system. But we now have their technology, so we have a bare brakes, bare gearbox. It's actually one kilogram lighter than the car than the one we had equipped, which is a bonus. But if I've got time, can I take them out testing? Yeah, so we'll make it go for even more testing. All right, let's them out the track, and we can see we've got the old version of the Silverstone. <laughs> I can't. Miss, I like the old version of the Silverstone because I thought it was quite nice. I don't remember this version of Silverstone though, but. I like the one before the one that we have now, but that's just a personal opinion. Anyway, how much slower than Prost? Over a second slower than Prost, okay. I thought it'd be a bigger gap than that, but I guess see having the better gearbox might help and send my uh, guys out training for quite a bit. Well, I say that Prost is now, well, we're just barely behind Johansson, but Alien Prost managed to do a 1 minute 9 compared to my guys 1 minute 12. Which, that's insane. That's insanely quick. I don't know how he managed to do that. I don't really think you would even be able to go this fast in the real life uh, Silverstone if it was still like this. Alright, seeing all the other big teams and... Well, we are just slightly slower in Eric Comus. But, apart from that, we are quite... We are not going to be any, at any challenge to the big team still, but... Oh well. We'll go to qualifying and see what we can do. Alright, send them both out together. Now let's just see what kind of a time we'll hold. Are we going to have any qualifying that record? Yep, Alien Pro has broken the qualifying that record within 1 minute 8, which is insane. Oh, my game seems to have froze there. 1 minute 12, 5. So my guys are going to be not going to be any challenge towards Alien Pro. But their best time was like 1 minute 10. I think that was from Campos. But I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, they both come in together. Let's see where we are currently. Oh, well, I say we're, we're second, third. We're just behind the McLarens, but we're, we're ahead of the Ferraris and the Lotuses. Okay, that's uh, quite a surprise to see there. But, will it last? Nope, still is so far. And we'll just have to speed this up and we'll see what happens towards the end of the session. Okay, we've come to the end of the session, and Nanini's got third, Campos in sixth, and now we've got a fair few amount of drivers who did not make the 110%, but it's both Ags and Philip Street. So all of a sudden, Ags, who were like at the f well at the front for a while, now all of a sudden at the bottom three, which is a bit well, that's a big surprise to see because they were doing quite well this season, and now all of a sudden for this track they've slipped up. And who else did they make the 100% Brando, Gazzini, Dalmas, Ali, and Danner. Oh dear. Okay, so we have a McLaren front row, then the knee, then both Williamses, Campos, Alboreto, then both Lotuses, Santa down eight, surprisingly, Comus tenth, uh, Boatson, both Brabham's, Fabi, Palmer, both Arrows, Arno, Brando, Gazzini, Dalmas, Ali, and Danner. Right, so that was so that was a rather interesting uh, qualifying. So 15 and 31. We'll have a 16-32 for. Okay. Nope, not not 33-32. Need one less lap of fuel, and you'll need. No, you've got the exact amount of fuel you need. 
New tires. How's our car looking? It's looking fine. Anyway, let's just go to the formation lap. No one's still in the car. Okay. So six and thirds. I'm quite interested to see how this will go out well, how this will pan out. I'm not really sure. But anyway, the British Grand Prix is ready to go now! And Campos has stole his car and it's already out of the Grand Prix. But Nanini is in second place currently. And in the first turn, there's a big gap there between fifth and four, oh, fifth and sixth. But anyway, it makes sense by going to the TV camera here. But Campo is retiring because he stole his car. That's a huge blow for us already. But hopefully Nini will keep the car in the track. Alien Pross has got a 10 second penalty. And, well, Johansson's got passed. But Pross has already got a big lead. And someone else has a penalty, but it's down with Fidelity at the back. I guess the knee's got the slowest lap time as usual and Sirius is retired. Oh no, the knee's actually the top half of lap time, so alright, good on him there. But more impressively, the knee is holding up both Williamses right now as both McLaren's run away. And no, nope, I say that PK's got passed. And oh, Derek Warwick has in fact retired. And Johansson beat, has got the fastest lap now, and I say that. Okay, we've got Warwick, Gazzini, Elliott, and Comus had all retired there very, very quickly. And Nini's now 48 seconds behind. He's still in fifth place, though. And now he's hold, holding up Alboreto. In this case, some people coming to the pits. Nini's coming on lap 16. Hopefully, get a good pit stop. Okay, 17 laps worth of fuel. New tires. 8.1 seconds in the pits. There's... Oh, there's Nini there, but here's uh, Johansson that's already coming to lap him. So Nini's going to be dropping back. He's in uh, ninth place right now, still ahead of Nakajima, impressively. And he's already, and he's, nope, he's back up to six in the points. And nope, he's gone down seven. It looks like Senna and Alborel did jump him. I uh, don't know if they've done their pit stops yet. Oh, Alborel doesn't seem to have. But Abarel seems to be ahead, I think. I'm not sure. Nope, he definitely is still ahead. Um, well, Nini is in 7th place, which is quite good. So he's just outside the point. And Abarel and Senna have retired. That's put Nini into 5th place. Okay, that's that's actually um, that's quite good for us, actually. Nakajima is also in the point. We're still behind both McLarens and Williamses, But we're not going to catch them anytime soon because they're way, way quicker than the Minardis. That's for sure. And Brundle's been left so many times, he can't get past Senna and Alborel who've retired. And someone over no no, I thought someone overtook Nini there, but nah, he's still he was he was in fifth and he was always in fifth. I thought he dropped down to fifth, so I thought he was in fourth, but nah, that's not the case. Now you need twenty four laps worth of fuel just to get to the end of the race. So hopefully this will work out. 11.6 seconds, you're down in 7. Still have Nakajima. And Nigel Mansell has in fact retired. Nigel Mansell has retired. And Nakajima's also retired there also. But... Uh, oh, Patrice and the Brabham. Uh, oh, I think Patrice has actually jumped Nanini there. Yeah, he has. Brundle's been lapped 9 times in Palmer 6. Oh my goodness, that's... Weird, hang on. Let's find Patrice, who's in fifth. Is that Patrice right there? Oh, Patrice is right in front of him. Oh, wow. Well done, Nini. But he's still in the points position. We can still get some points. That would be brilliant if, the, if we do. But we've got 12 cars left. 12 cars remaining. We're on lap 43. Cause the, well, Pross and Johansson are well in front. Nelson PK is third. Then we have Boats in the Benetton and Patrice in the Brabham and Nini in the Minardi. I'm taking account Minardi are the only team at this point in scoring points. And Brundle and Palma have retired, but they've been lapped so many times that... Uh, oh dear. So, Fabi in 7th place is where 2 laps ahead. Well, he's 2 laps ahead. And lap 52... Come on, Nini. Surely you can score points. And check the times, he needs the 12 quickest, so that's quite good, actually. That's quite good. That's actually quite promising. Oh, come on, Alessandro Nini. You've got to, got to finish this race. We need, we want to get a point. 
a point for Minardi. Come on, I think. And Alien Prost has in fact retired, and Johansson's coming in the pits with two laps left to go, but I don't think Nini's going to be able to catch Prost. And Nini's retired, but can Nini still get a point? I uh, don't think so. We'll find out. Oh, yes, he did! Uh, oh no, Nini ran out of fuel! I didn't give Nini enough fuel. That, oh no. So that was totally my fault there. We could have got two points, but at the end of the day, we we did get one still. That's all that really matters at this point. But oh no, that was so bad. That was so silly of me. I thought I'd given Nini enough fuel, but I didn't. With it, I gave it the, the number that was suggested. I guess it was because I couldn't fill the tank any higher than that. But at least Minari finally scored points, so we're in a three-way tie for last now. We're not just single last. With Saxby and Ligier. Turbo, 33% level 1. Uh, semi automatic gears, still level 1. Uh, maybe the chassis, $10,000. And Nelson PK will miss the next race. McLaren are ahead the championship. Well, they were expected to win. And then he f uh, scores first career points. What more could I have asked for that? So Berger stopped for three races and PK ill for one race. Who's going to temporarily replace PK? Let's see the Williams. It's Sean Luz Schleser. I have no idea how to pronounce that name, but those stats are terrible. Look at PK's, they're way better. <laughs> Alright, sponsor deals, all the spots are taken, of course, I forgot about that because I'm a fool. And I refit all the warm parts. And the next race is at Hockenheim, which is that's just going to be quite an interesting track to go to. But before I want to do that, I want to try and steal some more parts. Alright, we've broken to Zach Speed's factory. Now I might want to try and acquire their suspension. Um, I was still percent, oh, they're only at 18%, so it's not really worth getting, actually. Externals. Uh, I could get a bare air box. Nope, I've actually been caught, and I've been fined. Oh, I've been fined quite a lot of money, actually. Oops. Okay, that's a lot of money that's been, we just got fined for. And we're actually losing quite a bit of money. I'm actually going to have to visit the bank, actually, and get some money. 3.2 million dollars. Yeah, I might I'll have. To, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that because it's well, we're not really looking too good financially, and also I gotta think about an engine contract at this point. So if I wanna see what's the best here, what's Williams? This is 735 compared to our 680. Oh, whoops. Arrow 6 700. Bennett, the Benetton 705, but it's quite light. Call his four stars. If I want to get Benetton, nah, it's not been that good. Williams, they'll say no. Oops, I'll offer a deal with Williams, they'll say no. Yep. If I go to McLaren, they'll say no. Um, we will supply your team with engines for the next year, and it'll cost four million. What engines do McLaren have? 740, that's quite good. Ferrari. 715, which is, that's really low. 715, 700, so if I wanted to get, I might want to get Lotus's engine, 2.250 million. But I want to get McLaren's engines, but it's a lot of money, I don't think I'll be able to afford that. Uh, what's that speed one like? 690, so it's not, it's not even good. 685, 670, 710. So I could get that. No, I actually know say that I was supposed to see in there. 680, 690. I'll think about it in the long run, but I guess it's not going to be worth fretting about, especially, oh no. Especially now we need to go to Hockenheim. Okay, this is a chat about speed, but as you can see, Campo is still time in two, mi two minutes five and two minutes six, which is 
I hate, which I don't even need to say that that is a very slow time, especially since it's a very speedy track, Hockenheim. Well, the old layout is. The new one, not so much, but, uh, <laughs> we are so slow, we are probably not even, we're more likely not going to score points, and we might not even make the 107% because of how slow our car is. 2 minutes, 4, 2 minutes, 5, and the other big teams are, well, they've broken the 2 minute barrier. Anyway, let's just get on with the qualifying and just hope for the very best. And their first lap times are going to be 2 minutes exactly. Oh no, that was the wrong button. Oh, good grief. 1 minute 59, 2 minutes. Compare it with 57, 56, 53, 52. Yeah, we are definitely in a lot of trouble in this qualifying. And the track is drying, like that might be actually be our saving grease, but apart from that, not so much. Two minutes. The best times one minute fifteen eight and fifty nine. And like we're just nowhere near these times at all. Okay, you know what? The track is now fully dry, I'm gonna send them out again and just well hope for the best. Right. We are the front row only because the track is dried up and like the series is I mean though the big teams Prost McLaren Ferrari and Lotus are all solo down the board all of a sudden only because the track is dry and they did their times in the wet. That's actually gonna be our only saving grace that we don't fall below the hundred and seven percent. But apart from that, no, not really. I mean look at that, both Ferraris are at the bottom half. Senna down in fifteenth, which is just in, which is crazy. Absolutely crazy. And the knees and Charlie's had an accident. And Campos has also had an accident. So that's the end of our qualifying sessions. And it's the end of the session and we're going to have Palmer and both Benettons will not be taking part. But look at this. Ayrton Senna failed to make 107% as in 24th position which is insane. Now, uh, where are the McLarens? Alien Pross 14th. Johansson 16th. What on earth is this? Ferrari's 20th and 22nd. Just very, very, very bizarre. And look at that, both Williams and Schleser out qualified Mansell, who's, who Schleser's only there to replace PK. Where's third and fourth? Sears is fifth, Chiefer in sixth. And the AG, both ARCs who failed to qualify make the race, the last race, are ninth and tenths. So, how this race is going to be quite insane, I can tell you that. So it's both Flameses and both Minardis, Sears, both Arrows, Patrice, both ARCs, Streif, both LaRusses, Prost, and 14th, Brundle 15th, Johansson 16th, Arno 17th, Danner, Ginzi, Alvarez 20th, Senna 21st, Comus 22nd, and Nakajima dead last. Okay, anyway, the sky's cloudy, it's still dry, but I'm actually thinking we should probably... Uh, I want to do a two one stop strategy, but I'm not sure if I should because it's wet conditions. I can fit 18 laps worth of fuel, so 6... No, we should do 50... 15 and 30. So we'll do 15 and 30 for Nanini. For Nanini. Hang on, I've just noticed something. Uh, I've just noticed Camp. I can't actually change to Campos because Campos has actually now disappeared, actually. Um, Christian Jazz stole his car. Hang on. And he's in third. And yeah, Campos actually disappeared all of a sudden. Uh, right, and Danner stole his car, which is from Arrows, I think, but Arrows caught by quite high. So this will be a good chance for the lower teams to get some points. But yeah, it's quite weird that da that Campos just suddenly disappeared, and the race is ready to go. Now, no one has stolen their car, both lanes to the front, and the knee's holding third place. So let's see if this makes sense, we'll go to the camera here. And, oh my word, more cars have disappeared. Even Senna's just suddenly disappeared from this, from this race. 
And Sears has actually overtaken the Nini already. So the Nini's in fourth. And no, he's, I say that in sixth place, but this track is not really good for Minaris because Minaris are really, really are like the slowest teams here. And the Nini's already down to eighth place. But, to, but now we're just down to 19 cars to start with, which is weird. Alien Pross is already up to eighth. So, let's see the lap times here. Oh my word, Nanini three seconds slower than 18th place. Oh my goodness. That's just the, the pace of the minority. They're just so slow. We're not, well, we're not going to score any points in this race, that's for sure, unless we start getting some retirements in thick and fast. Or just some good luck, really. And when I said Dan was an hour, I think I said Dan was an hour speed. It turns out he's not, he's actually for sack speed, so that was a mistake there. Martin Brundle is still head, still holding up a Ferrari. Brundle holding up Alboreto. You know what? Credit is credit due to the, Oh no, I said that too soon. <laughs> I was going to say credit is credit due, but Alboreto actually managed to eventually overtake. Um, Alboreto. Nini's in. Well, people ahead of them are pitching, but Nini's not anywhere near. Um, any of the guys at front even catch them, jump them in the pits. And then he's, now Ali is, is past him, and now he's making the place, and he's just dropping back further and further. I'm surprised that retirements haven't come in already. 16 laps worth of fuel is still dry. That's slightly all the change. And then he's coming up 14th. And the Nini and Alberto have retired. Uh. Great. I, I mean, I knew we weren't going to score any points, but I didn't really want a retirement, so... I'm just checking the lap times. Oh, the knee was just... Well, the knee was, was, had no chance. And Elliot for LaRousse is also retired. So, another race where we're just going to have to sit back and watch. And Martin Brundle has retired also. Martin Brundle. I want him to do well, and he just isn't in this game. Oh, Stefan you host Hansen and Patrice have both retired. You Hansen was doing quite well in other places. And that's it, he's blown it. And Alien Pross in fourth place right now. Both flames is predictably a still front and Pross has gone from the back round about the back of the grid towards third place. Well done to him. And Fabri and Streif have retired, but they were both doing quite well actually. They were they were up there. And uh, Marino in sixth place. Both hours fifth and fourth. And Prost has actually got past Schleser. How is Prost managed to get this kind of speed to keep up with the Williamses? Because the Williams are at the front and McLaren were at like right about the middle towards the back and the rain has actually just got heavier. Nineteen starters and we got we're down to ten cars in this very in this forty four lap race in this forty four lap race. Nigel Mansell still in the lead, but Prost might actually end up catching Mansell. How how will he be able to do that? I don't know, apart from the fact he just will. <laughs> Alright, Nigel Mansell and Prost have lapped the remaining runners. Even Schleser in third place has been lapped by his own teammate, which that's quite insane that one Williams driver is going so quickly, the other not so. But we've got like four laps left to go, and it looks like Nigel Mansell, he has got this race pretty much wrapped up. Prost is going to probably get second. Schleser will get third. And Schleser is in fact retired, just as I said that. That's put the ar one of the Arrow drivers in the podium spot, and Sears in the Brabham is, going to, is now in six. That's, that's quite crazy that more the back marker teams have had such a good race out of this. And it's going to be Mansell, Pross, Chiefer, Warwick, Marino, and Cirrus who will get the points. So, well, well done to the Arrows for getting third and fourth. That was pretty, pretty impressive. They managed to held that, held the, the last podium spot and quite and get a good amount of points there. And the knee actually had spun off. Okay. Uh, Alvarell had an accident. Also, well, we had a three-way retirement actually. Uh. Right, that's going to put, uh, we're still tied in 11th with one point each, <laughs> compared to McLaren's 64 point, they've dominated this season pretty much. Uh, ah, two chassis wreck, that might explain why Campos had disappeared. 
Turbo, Semionic Gear to level 2 finally, which is good. First pull for Schleezer, first win for Nigel Mansell. Oh, I, I didn't realise he uh, it was his only first win. And Schleezer didn't turn uh, pull into points. No, of course he didn't. Burger still out for two more races. And, oh, Campos morale's at an all-time low here. Now, I think we're getting a new driver, and, oh, some drivers have actually already been arranged. Hang on, let's see here. Um, no, oh, Ags, oh, Fabry for 248 races, good luck with that. Norman for 24 races, Roberto Marino for 8 races. I guess since we're halfway into the season, that's when all the, um, the changes are going to be, all the, um, arrangements are starting. Williams, they're going to have Nelson Piquet uh, as their driver number two for next season. And that's pretty much all they've decided. They're going to get a new chief designer. Hang on. Now, Axe are keeping their chief des engineer and they're changing their commercial manager. Then we'll have Ligier. They're going to have Roberto Marino for one season and Ginzi for another two. Uh, keeping their chief designer and their commercial manager. Okay. And Zach Speed. Keeping their designer, their engineer, but they're changing the commercial manager. They're going to get Ricard Patrice, Christian Danner for another season, and Chris N Nissen for 16 races, even though they've got already have him for 248. The Ruth haven't done anything yet. Brabham, uh, well, they're keeping the chief designer, they're changing their engineer. And Arrows are keeping ch cheaper for another two seasons. Keeping their designer, but they're changing their commercial manager. Tyrrell are keeping Street for another season. Changing their designer, keeping their engineer, keeping their mechanic, and keeping their manager. Benetton will get Fabi for another season. Keeping their designer, changing their engineer, keeping their mechanic, and their commercial manager is the same also. Ferrari, they're getting Stefan Johansson. For a season, they're getting Comus, they're keeping Comus, and Gerhard Berger for two seasons. Lotus, all they've done is, keep, is get a different mechanic. That's all they've done. McLaren, they're keeping Prost for another season, keeping their engineer and their commercial manager, and they're changing their mechanic. Right, I need to think about a test driver now. I think now is a good time if I did that. Go to experience Berg for two million. Site well five hundred thousand. Um, what can I find here? I'll get. I could get Senna again for another season. Well, he's seven hundred seven and a half million. He's good. He's way too expensive. And Nigel Mann, so he's going to be expensive. Well, six and a half. Well, he's not as expensive, but he's delivers at least. Fabry, Mar I could get Martin Brundle actually for. Uh, but Brundle, I don't know if I should get Brundle. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to get Martin Brundle for a season. So, 2 million, 16 races, 50, and 100. We'll do it this way. <laughs> Let's do it this way. It sounds quite risky, I know, but uh, we're close to the deal. Base size not good enough. Well, I say that. We're getting Keith Rosberg, I've just remembered. I've forgotten I was going to get him. But, in fact, you know what? I'm going to hold on and uh, hold off on that and think and come back to it at, at the beginning of the second season, actually. I, I'm just thinking about it and I think it's best, better that way. Now I'm going to try and now break into someone's factory and try and get some parts again. Right, we're into Brown's factory. We're going to try and acquire their... Require their EMS. Ours is 80%, theirs is 31. We have their technology now, which is good, so... Uh, it weighs the same, but the ring is a lot is higher, which is be which is good. Which is, it's not even that much expensive either, which is even which is just as good. 
Alright, testing done, as we can see here. For some reason, Campos is over two seconds quicker than Ratzengator and Nanini. In fact, Ratzengator is quicker than Nanini, which is quite strange. I don't know how Ratzengator is quicker, especially since he hasn't been on, on the track hardly at all. But, meh, that's just the logic of the game, I guess. Anyway, we're ready to go to the Hungarian Grand Prix. Let's just get ready for the for that. Alright, we're there, and it's going to be a permanently dry track, so... All the, the crazy stuff from the previous Grand Prix, well, that is not likely to happen. But let's just see what happens. Okay, the first lap's complete, and we're, half, we're about half a second behind Prost, so we're not usually far as far behind as we usually would be, because we'd normally be, well, millions of miles away. But let's speed this up and see how close we are to the actual other teams. Okay, you know what, we actually could be a slight challenge towards Ferrari and maybe Lotus, but McLaren, uh, that's definitely going to be out of the question because Prost is now about two seconds quicker than both Minardi's. But as we know, Senna's got a lap time of 1 minute 27, which is five seconds slower than his very, very slow teammate Nakajima. Anyway, let's now get into the qualifying, where it really matters the most. Alright, they're now doing their first lap. What's the time going to be? 1.19 for Campos. And, well, Nani's actually just got ahead of Prost by half a second. That's great to see. But will it last? Um, well, actually, yeah. I'm surprised it did it has lasted. But, early days, who knows what will actually happen by the end of the qualifying. Because, we got, remember, the Williams doesn't come out till roughly the end of the qualifying because it ranks quite low for some reason and I don't really know why. And Senna is slower than Nakajima this track and which is very very unusual to see because that's a bit unrealistic because the faster driver is well out of the pair of them Senna. And we are now at the end of the session and only one car failed to make the 170 rule and that's Fabry for for Ags, which is quite surprising and the Nini has maintained the lead. Prost in second, Campos third. Where are the Williamses? They're 16th and 17th. 16th and 17th, that is weird. What happened to Williams this race? I have no idea. And both arrows are in the top six. Ferrari is seventh for, for, and the other one is ninth. The Lotus is tenth uh, and 24, Senna is so low down. I don't even understand how what happened to Senna at this race. Anyway, it's Nanini, then Prost, and Campos, and New Hansen, both Arrows, Alboreto, Boatson, Comas, Nakajima, Streif, Dalmas, Sears, Palmer, Elliot, both Williamses, Fabri, Patrice, Arno, uh, Morino, both Saxby, Senna 24, and Ginzi at the back. So that's a so that was just so that's so weird to see Senna not do so well. Anyway, let's, I gotta do some math here. Right, we are ready to go for this race, and no one's still in their car. But needing first, Campus third. Who knows what will happen in this race? I'm not too sure what will happen. But anyway, the Hungarian race is ready to go now. Dalmas has stolen his car and is out of the race. Is Dalmas, which one is Dalmas again? I've forgotten. Uh, no, okay, it was neither I was driving. Ah. I was thinking it was Zach Speed there, but it's actually... Uh, I don't know, I can't find his name. Dalmas, oh, I found him, LaRousse, that's where he's at. But anyway, this makes sense if I go into the TV camera here. Uh, oh, LaRousse... So Dallas and the Lurus, I guess he must have been in the middle of the table. Anyway, first lap's done, the knees are still in the lead. Prost is second, and the Campos is nine seconds behind his teammate and Prost. But he's holding Johansson up and both Arrows drivers. Uh, Williams, the, both Williams is 15th and 16th, and Cirrus is already retired from the race. And so we're coming to about seven laps in. Nini's the fastest driver out there, and compare Campos being 21st. 
Nini's quite quick at this track. He's the fastest. I don't really know how. In a minority. And compare Campos, who's 21st fastest, who's in third place. Well, he's now dropping back. He's now 50 seconds behind <laughs> the two leaders, which is insane. And we're only 12 laps in, take into account. Ayrton Senna is in dead last, the last the last of the remaining runners, behind both Brundle and Danner in the Zack speeds. I don't really know what happened to Senna this race. He just seemed to have slipped up big time. And Campo, did Campo say he dropped, he closed the gap? No, it's 1 minute 17. I thought it said 13 seconds, but I guess it said 1 minute 13. It just seemed a bit weird there. Uh, Johansson's down in 20th, Mansell 21st because they're pitting, but they're so low down the board. I mean, you have Prost in 2nd, and it's Johansson 19th. How on earth has that happened? How has Johansson gone down this low, despite even though he's pitted? Even if Johansson pitting, he shouldn't be that low down the board. He should actually be roughly at the points place. And in fact, it's Nene, Prost, Campos, both arrows, and boats in the points. Comis is not even in the points yet. Oh, well, now people are pitting. There's Nakajima and Palmeres. Um, Nanini and Campos have still got to pit, so Prost is pretty much going to lead to this point. Well, actually, I see that Prost is pitting. It's Campos, Campos is coming in first. Uh, did that say both drivers are pitting at the same time? Hang on. Where is... Oh no, Nini's coming out of the pits. I didn't want him to come into the pits. Return to the... No. No, cancel pit. Return to the pits, Nini. Oh, is Nini going to come back? Yeah, Nini's in here. <laughs> because I saw him coming back to the pits, both... They seem to have gone to the pits at the same time. I was concerned they was going to just retire immediately because... You can't double stack in this game. Not that you'd want to, but you can't do it. Uh, Campos is fifth, and the knees maintained the lead just barely over Prost, despite that little, <laughs> that little kerfuffle there. Um, oh, and I didn't see Mar Brundle retiring, uh, but Senna finally got past Danner in the sack speed. So, and Johansson's 14th, Albrecht's 15th, the Williams is a 16th and 18th. So the big teams are. Well, some of the big teams are really low down the board, and we have arrows that are just doing. Well, despite being a back runner, it's six and third in this race. They've been quite impressive throughout the season. And um, so some people are pitching from the back. Mansell's now and Johansson are now the, the two dead last runners, <laughs> which is just something you don't see every day, realistically. Uh, well, Camp has been left. Oh, Warwick and the Arrows has retired. Oh no, the Arrows are, and. Both Arrows drivers were doing so well to get to stay in the points, and now one of them's retired. Uh, both Minardis are first and fifth, so the, Minar the Minardis are doing actually quite a good job to staying on the track, and both in the points position. Let's do the lap times, actually. The needs are seventh quickest, seventeenth quickest. Oh, Ayrton Senna and Johansson have retired from the... Well, rough, they were like at the back for the race, but they've retired. So the you know, camp is actually now becoming quicker, and the knee is actually going to become slower. But so Senna and Johansson retired, so, well, they I don't even know why they were at the back for so long. I just don't, because it just doesn't make sense, realistically. Prost still four tenths, four tenths per second behind the Nini. He just cannot get past that Minardi at all. Okay. Um, I think the knees should be taking it. He's going to pet on this lap. He's still ahead of Prost, but Prost is already petted, so a op this might be an opportunity for Prost to jump him. Actually, going to do it here. There's Nini. Alien Prost. Oh, Prost and Chief have actually got past this thing was on high speed. Uh, so Nini's now down to third. Okay, that's fine. Campus in the Pets for his last stop. Uh, well, Campos is now down seven, uh, down twelve. Uh, Mansell has suddenly reached sixth place, so well in him. Uh, Campos back up to eighth. I don't really know why there's a bit of a kerfuffle going on when the uh, they pet. They seem to drop down so low and all of a sudden just jump back up again. I don't really understand why that's ha why that's constantly happening. I think it's just a weird glitch of some sort. I get because when they're in the pets, it doesn't count them in a the position, they just kind of just been overtaken. I don't really 
I, I don't know. I'm just guessing because it doesn't make much sense. But I'm not. But I'm not really sure. Nakajima is retired, so Campos is one spot away from getting back into the points. And uh, does it say someone else retired, or is it just saying that Nakajima retired? Well, I'm assuming it must say Nakajima retiring. Come on, Campos, you can get back in the points. I hope. Well, Nini is actually now four seconds behind Chiefer, so there's an opportunity in Nini that might actually overtake Chief, Chiefer's arrows. Well, I say that, but he's, the gap's now starting to increase. Mansell's still in the points in the last points position, three laps down in sixth place in his Williams, and his teammate PK is the second last runner. Uh, still in, in 13th. The only person he's ahead of is Alvarez Ferrari. <laughs> So the big teams have had problems in this race, but it looks like Prost is going to win for the Hungarian Grand Prix with Chief in second, and impressively, we're going to have a podium finish for Minardi, which is which is awesome to see finally happen. But it doesn't look like Mansell will retire or Patrice, but anyway, it doesn't matter. We still get some points in this race, so we shouldn't be dead last in the constructors, finally. So Prost, Chief, and Nini. So, but look at that, both Minari drivers have finished the race, which is, which is one achievement I'm happy to finally see happen. And what happened to Senna, collision with Johansson, okay, fair enough. And, uh, yeah, so Nini's got five championship points, and he's now in 13th in the driver's championship, but it's not like we're ever going to win it ever. Minardi now in ninth, tying in ninth place with Tyrrell, which is good, which is pretty good, and we get fifty thousand dollars, and Minardi doing better this season. Yeah, we are doing a lot better now. Nearly a first win for a uh, Chiefer. Yep, Chiefer came so close to his arrows, just one spot away from well winning. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna end this video here. So, look, seems we've turned turned the tide around with for Minardi. So thank you guys so much for watching. Next time we're at the A1 break and hopefully we will keep this momentum up that we're suddenly getting ourselves into. So thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye. Go back, hope.